Good morning, guys. Um, I made a video a little while back about uh, adjusting the line layer width for inner and outer walls to be able to compensate for a problem. The problem was, as I can show you here, um, let me see. What you see here is like the standard settings. When when you when you have 0.2 nozzle, it will have uh, 0 0.22 and 0 0.25 for the outer and inner walls. That's like the standard settings. Problem is this will be uh, too thick and in my previous video I showed you that if you change this to 0 0.2 uh, uh, for both of them then you, you manage to print something you would normally get uh, problems printing. If you look in the slicer here you will see how it is. So you can see here you have this uh, here you end up in gaps and you get seams at the bottom so if I slice down here you will see that you can tell here there is a gap between the black filament when it slices it and uh, get further down you get <laughs> visible gaps in the layers and this is because uh, it's not able to print that small so one way you can combat this is by uh, you know removing the extras put on the line width. You have a 0 0.2 nozzle, you can print to 0 0.2. So you can just remove the excess uh, put in the slicer. That's what I showed you in the previous video. Now there is a different setting here, uh, which I have discovered can uh, uh, do the same thing. Um, what uh, I saw a different video where a guy was talking about uh, new things a beginner usually made as a mistake etc and and one of them was uh, detect thin walls because as you can see now I have re-sliced it with uh, a thinner layer line and it's uh, it's working again there is no no gap in the seam but if I go back to this and I leave it there and I slice it then you get the error <coughs> I mean error, I mean it slices wrong. Let's see here, you get, you get the gaps, okay, but if you go to strength up here and then you go to detect thin walls, then it will try to, because all of these, like the, the black parts here are separate objects, and the yellow ones, the gold ones are separate objects, so they are all uh, handle differently. You can see it here in my overview of the objects. But if you if you use the detect thin walls, uh, it, it fixes it in the same way because it will say, okay, instead of having an inner and an outer wall, I will just print one line. So if I slice this, I get the same results as before. So if you want to print the rest of the model with the, the standard settings, you can. Now, there is a different thing also here that I didn't account for. See, now I only use the tech walls, the rest is, is the same. There is one so set thing here I didn't account for before. And that is the use of filament. Because if you look here, I, I had to make a, power, uh, a paint presentation of it. Uh, let me see. Wait long. Here you can see. Uh, if you use the tech uh, thin walls as a setting, then uh, I can zoom it in a little bit. Then you get uh, consumation of black changes. So 11.32, and if I use the other settings, I get 11.54. So by making the layer line thinner, I use more filament. And that was kind of surprising to me. I would expect it to use less. But maybe that's how it internally calculates how much filament to use. So basically if you if you if you look here it's uh this is with thin walls on and this is with 0 0.2 layer height when I slice it. So here it uses 11.32 black filament and here it uses 11.54. Here it uses 33 0.75 grams, he's used 34.42 grams. Now that's not a lot, but what is a lot is print time. Look at this. Total time 
18.25 meters, 18.47 meters. That's this much filament saved. If you if you print a lot of filament, uh, this can add up to maybe a roll. And in addition, look at the time. For using the tech walls, it's 10 minutes and 34 seconds prepare time. For using just the prepare time is like when it, it thinks and do all the things like it uh, that it's supposed to do. For the other one, it uses 30 seconds longer. And the model print time for the tech tin walls is 13 hours and 59 minutes. And if you use 0 0.2, for inner and outer walls that is 14 hours and 56 minutes so it's almost an hour longer using uh, narrower layer lines compared to the tech thin walls now that is a lot and the total printing time is 59 minutes less if you use the tech thin walls compared with the 0 0.2 setting which I recommended previously. I would change my recommendation now and say that if you have no other uh, beefs with the tech twin tin walls using that, Contra using the 0 0.2, I would leave 0 0.2 at the standard of 0 0.22 and 25 and just use the tech tin walls because you save filament uh, you save filament and you save print time in buckets. So I just wanted to show you the guys that it's uh, it's one setting that can have a lot of difference on uh, on different things. The the thing with the tactin walls is that it can also impact areas elsewhere in the model where it may be thinner walls. So it's also setting you could more or less have on all the time so yeah sorry for misleading you in the previous video but you learn as long as you go on so um, my recommendation now is use the tech tin walls contra changing the width of your layer line it saves you filament and it saves you time a lot of time have a good one until the next one like and subscribe and see you